everybody welcome thank you for joining me again um i did show this in a different video so if you have a look back i'll try and remember to put the link above uh, but this was the um colorful july may mini box uh, so i did an opening so i've shown everything in it but what i want to do today is i want to have a look at these because these came these chrome powders and they look beautiful so pigments or chromes whatever um We'll soon find out. So here they are. These are from that little set. So I've opened them all up. Yeah, so definitely pigments really rather than chromes. So I also got these gels. Um, four gel pods in it. So this one is the one that goes most with those at the moment. So what I've done is I've done a swatch on these two sticks. So it's the one at the top is on just a base coat, so they look really pretty, don't they? But then over the top of that blue, it also gives them another dimension, sure, so makes them look chromey, but really pretty. So that's what I'm going to play with today. All right, so I've got Eve ready, so we've put her fingertip bits in and... Uh, Stuck us some tips on. These were C curve ones, uh, and they were really strong C curve. Which, when the tips that stick on, it they tend to go in. They like swoosh in like that when there's a big C curve on. So what I've done, I've just flattened them on the table. <laughs> I just, I just squished them so it's not quite as much of a, a C, and then they look more straight. So I'm using this base one builder, which is uh, from Amazon. Um, well, I got it from Amazon. Uh, and this one's called Cover. It's Cover Pink. I've got another one, which is uh, French Pink, but I'm not doing any French on these sets, on this set, I've decided. So that's French Pink. That's pretty. So I've built all that one, um, and this one's going to be exactly the same. I'm doing a very, very thin base coat. So that's got the base coat on. So I'm just going to use this little bit that's on my brush for a slip layer. Now this is where you want to be precise and make sure None of it's on your cuticles, I found out, because gel follows gel. So, if you get any on there, wipe it off at this stage. So now I'm going to build this. But it's only the little finger, so I don't need a massive lump. We'll push it up like a cushion. I've just touched the skin, so I'm going to wipe that off in a sec. If it doesn't detach itself, because I think any base coat on it might detach itself and come back to the main body of the gel, if you know what I mean. Right. So I'll get a bit more on there. But put it back where you were. That way you won't get air bubbles. That's it. Push. And then I'll let gravity help. I'm not going quite to the edge. I want to go. This is where you can use your little brush if you need to. I tend to find circles is good for me. Put that back up there. I'm going to check this before it runs away. Yeah.
I'm happy with that for my first one. I'm going to just get rid of that. So that's still a pretty flat look. Starting to build. Right, so I'm going to use a wipe off solution and get that. You could use alcohol, but you do get quite a tacky layer on builder gels, sticky layer. So don't uh, don't think it's not cured. If you're unsure, tap it. So even though it's got a really really sticky layer. It is cured. You can always put your hand back in upside down if you want. And that's cured nicely. So I'm just getting that tack off because I've done with them till, until filing. Uh, and I want to play with the others first. And the ring finger, I'm not even sure what I'm doing on it yet. Sorry, Eve. Right, so I'm going to get this one done and I'm just going to put one layer of the pink on and then I'll come back and we'll start putting some stuff on it to encapsulate. So you can see that's paler, a bit more see-through. I've not built it up like I have with the others. Uh, and I've just given a quick swipe with alcohol just to take a lot of the sticky off, but I wanted to keep it a bit sticky uh, because I'm going to paint it with this blue. So this is this solid gel. Now, if I was doing this on a full cover tape, I wouldn't have bothered putting that first layer of stuff on. I would have just gone straight in with the colour. A bit of milk come off. Thank you. So, so I've not wiped the tacky layer off and I'm just going to go in with these. Silvery one. Get more of that blue down here. Bring that green up here. more 
modelka. I'm going to top coat that just to seal that chrome in and then I'll buff it. Right, <clears throat> I buffed that one down and while I got it out I filed these two more into shape and this one I've uh, just got the tip stuck on so far. So I've put a layer of base coat on because I want to put some of this uh, number 56 just on the bottom of there. Like a lump, and it's in the tip, got an art about that now. So that's going to be faded up. So I'll wipe that off a bit, fade it up again. Put the silvery one on. The limey one. And then that little bit of dark one. I want to know if base coat will seal that in enough. Because I want to put some builder gel on top. Yeah, good, it's not pulling it off. So that's good. Which saves having to buff it again. That's done nicely. I'm going to use this. This is a uh, white, well, almost white. It's a Savilland uh, Builder Gel. I've got a couple of sets of 12. Um, I will do some nails with it at some point. I've not got an awful lot of this left. I've used it. A bubble.
I'm going to put some base coat on here. And all over here. I've filed a couple of bits off there, but don't worry about it because I'm putting glitter and bits on. I've got these things that came in the uh, Colourful July set. I've got little metal flowers, uh, foils and sequins. I'm just going to use silver foil, I think, because the other colours I've got in here are reds and pinks. I'm not going to use those at the minute, but there was also these caviar beads, so I might put some of these in. I've got some silver, different colours in there, so that's good. Silver foil, little bits. Oh, come off. This is where you come unstuck, isn't it? Static. <laughs> um, what else? I've got these little bits of green mylar that I had in my drawer. And these, which are little uh, rhombus, diamonds, whatever shapes. I don't know what I'm going to use as yet. And I've actually got some bits of shells. So. Um, white ones, I think. Anyway, I've cut most of that out because it ruined right fast. Kept dropping them and all sorts. So I've put all them bits and bobs on there. And the, the silver foil, it went up with the heat and it all got stuck on under <laughs> underside of her hand. Oh my God, look. Look. <laughs> She's covered in it. It's on her thumb. Oh. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put uh, I've cured that into that base coat. I'm just going to put a bit more of this white just to kind of go over. Um, the top bit of that glitter, basically. Because I'm going to build the apex with the clear.
What's that? I'll just set that in place now and put some clear on. Well, the clear I'm using is Renmol Clear. I got this off Amazon. I absolutely love it. Um, and I decanted it into a vacuum pump because um, it was such a big bottle. I didn't want to get, get glitter or anything in it. But it's super clear. It's great. It's smashing. I've got a tiny little bit left in there. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to encapsulate with that one. So these two I'm going to paint, just make sure I haven't got dust stuck on them, and these have got quite a, quite a hefty tacky layer so they take some cleaning, give it a right good rub. Keep folding it. Don't rub that up your fingers, that's a bad thing. Give this a second coat. Oh yes, I like it. Pigment, should I say? And this one on top of this one.
going to top coat those before I start firing the middle two. My filing's not very smooth on this one. So I'm just going to stick on a few gems. I've filed those. And we'll use this uh, glue to stick on some gems. So it's top coat time. Miraculously, all them gems are on, look. <laughs> so here we go. I'm not putting any gems on this one. I think there's enough in it. So thank you so much for watching everybody it's lovely to have you here don't forget to leave a comment if there's anything that you want to have a chat about basically or if you've enjoyed it if you could click the like button that would be marvellous and if you've not already subscribed please consider it and i will see you very very soon with a brand new set or pr or whatever <laughs> love you loads bye